Hey everyone, I'm Anne Marie from Hello Basque. If you're new here, welcome to the Hello Basque YouTube channel. Every week I'm bringing you videos about the Basque country, Basque people, and Basque culture. And today I wanted to kick off a series of videos that I'm going to call Reconnecting with Your Roots because there's a lot of people out there searching the internet with questions about the Basques. With the popularity of ancestry and DNA research, I feel like there's a lot of people out there looking for information about their heritage. So if that sounds like you, you're in the right place. I wanted to make this series of videos for people who are just kind of starting to find out about their Basque heritage, to have some resources and some ideas of where to keep researching. So today's video is really plain and simple. You got your ancestry results back, your DNA results back, and it says you're Basque, and you need to know what that means. <laughs> Hello Basque has answers for you. First, let's start with a talk about the Basque Country. The Basque Country is a small nation in Europe along the western part of the Pyrenees and along the Bay of Biscay. So technically, it doesn't have its own state, so that's why a lot of people haven't heard of it. The Basque Country is divided between France and Spain. But throughout history, the Basques have been really successful at like not assimilating very much into French and Spanish cultures. So even today, a lot of Basques have a very strong connection to their Basque identity. And that's kind of what this channel is all about. In terms of ethnicity, the Basques are pretty distinct from the French and the Spanish. The Basque people have their own culture, their own language, their own traditions that are very different from the French and the Spanish, especially the language. The Basque language is a language isolate, so basically meaning linguists can't figure out what language it's related to. So it's nothing like French or Spanish. If that sounds intriguing to you, I made a whole video about the Basque language. Check the link in the description below. It's a really fascinating topic. But for these purposes, all you need to know that Basque people come from the Basque country. Now you may be wondering, how did you even get Basque in your results? Like how, when did you get Basque people in your family? A lot of times people have Basque ancestry because of Spanish colonization. So since the Spanish started colonizing the Americas, but also other parts of the world at the end of the 15th century, Basques were really involved in that project. A lot of Basques went over to the new world seeking to make their fortunes. So many countries in Latin America today have populations that are descended from the Basques. So if you have any sort of Latin American ancestry that you know of, it might be possible that your Basque ancestry came from that. But also more recently in the last couple of centuries, Basques have been moving to other places like the United States where I'm from, Canada, Australia, and also just different parts of Europe, Basques have been moving seeking economic opportunities. And that's how you get people like me who call themselves Hello Basque, but I've never lived in the Basque country. And unfortunately, as of right now, I don't speak the Basque language. So I'm really American, but have this very strong connection to my Basque heritage. Now, because Basques have had a strong connection to their heritage, because Basques oftentimes are very proud of where they come from, even when setting up homes in new countries, Basques have set up these institutions called Escualechea, which in the Basque language basically means Basque house. So they're like these Basque centers where Basques can kind of have a, a social scene to congregate around, but also they do different programming, teaching different aspects of Basque culture, language to the community. So I definitely recommend you do a Google search and try to figure out if there's a Basque center near you because I mean, that would be a great way to learn more about your Basque heritage if that's something you want to do. Another cool thing to check out is that Basques also really like to celebrate and party. So there's different Basque cultural festivals in different parts of the world, often organized by these Basque centers. So I have a link in the description below to the North American Basque organizations. If you're in the United States, that is kind of the overarching like membership body of these different Basque clubs. And they put on events all year round. So check out the calendar if you're curious. A lot of bass things happening out there. You just got to know where to look for them. That's just a little brief introduction, but I wanted to give you a few ideas of where you can look into your Basque heritage a little bit more. So if you're watching this video, clearly like videos, this is a good place to start. You can subscribe to the Hello Basque YouTube channel and watch a new video every week about Basque people. But if you're more of a reader on hellobasque.org, we've got a blog and if you don't want to do any real research yourself, you can sign up to the Hello Basque newsletter, link in the description below, and basically get information about Basque sent directly to your inbox so you don't even have to search anything else. Like, we will come to you. But if you are into reading, there's lots of different books about the Basques and the Basque country. Just do a Google search, like you'll get lost. You can pick whatever you like. But if you're looking for one book that's like the place to start, a lot of people start researching their Basque heritage and they start with 
this one book by Mark Kurlansky called The Basque History of the World. And it's a really accessible read and really interesting because it goes through history but like with a Basque lens. So you get to learn about different Basque achievements throughout history, famous Basque people that you may not have even realized were Basque, um, and different Basque inventions that are really common and you may not have known was Basque. So The Basque History of the World could be really useful to you if you're looking for one book specifically. I've got a link to that in the description. You can check it out there. But if videos really are more your thing, I've also organized a playlist of some of the videos I've done answering really basic like introductory questions about the Basque country. Like where is the Basque country? Who are the Basque people? What is the Basque language? I've got a playlist all about that. So you can go back and watch those videos if you wanna learn more. Linked in the description as well. So that's just a little bit of information about the Basques and where you can look to learn more about them. I hope you found this helpful. I'm excited to have you join the club. There's a lot of us out here of Basque ancestry who are just dying to talk about Basque stuff. I'm one of them, but hopefully there's a lot more people in the comments who want to talk about your Basque heritage and tell us your Basque family story. Let us know in the comments. It's really interesting. If you have your own suggestions about ways that you've researched your Basque heritage that would be helpful to others, definitely comment below and hopefully maybe somebody who needs to see that comment will. So thank you so much for watching. Definitely subscribe to the Hello Basque YouTube channel if you haven't already. If social media is more of your game, you can follow Hello Basque on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.